Hello and welcome to this week's episode where we continue our series on living and leading as different Enneagram types. Today we're focusing on Enneagram type 2, also known as the nurturing helper. If you are a type 2 or if you know and love someone who embodies this type, this episode is for you. We'll explore what it means to live and lead as a type 2, uncover their strengths, potential growth areas, and how they can thrive while serving others. Welcome to the Grace Filled Leader Podcast. Do you want better work-life balance? Do you get stuck in patterns of perfectionism and people-pleasing? Have you always been an overachiever but never really felt good enough, no matter how much outward success you achieve? Do you want more time for the things that matter most? Well, you are in the right place. Here on the Grace Filled Leader Podcast, We focus on spirit-driven success and share the secrets to having better work-life balance as a busy woman in leadership. Here you will learn how to set boundaries like a boss, find peace of mind, and reclaim your time for the things that matter most. Hi, I'm Tanya, a wife, mom, leader, and certified Christian life coach. For most of my life, I tried to find worthiness through achievement. I spent decades people-pleasing and pouring myself into my work. I was looking for my value through the approval of others. This led me to feel burned out, empty, and exhausted. I had no time or energy for myself or my family. I realized that I was wasting time and energy looking for validation in all the wrong places. But my life changed when I finally surrendered and God showed me a different way. It is my mission to help you start living the abundant life God has for you. If you're ready to become fueled by grace and find freedom from people pleasing, if you're ready to multiply your time and impact as a Christian woman in leadership, this podcast is for you. Roll up your sleeves, sister friends. It's time to get after it. Type twos are often called the helpers for a reason. They are deeply empathetic, warm-hearted, and supportive. Their natural instinct is to seek out ways to meet the needs of others, making them exceptional friends, colleagues, and leaders. Motivated by a desire to be loved and valued, type 2s often place high importance on connection and relationship. So when we talk about strengths of type 2 in leadership, the, the first is empathy and intuition. Type 2s possess an uncanny ability to sense how others are feeling, often anticipating the needs of their team before they are voiced. This quality builds a strong sense of trust and cohesion within their teams. Type 2s are also very relationship-driven. They excel in creating harmonious environments where people feel valued and heard. Their focus on fostering relationships can make them approachable and dependable leaders. And finally, type 2s have a deep commitment to service. Type 2 leaders are deeply motivated by helping others succeed, often going above and beyond to support their teams and ensure collective growth. Now, while type 2s bring warmth and selflessness to their roles, there are certain challenges that they need to be mindful of. The first is people-pleasing tendencies. And boy, don't we talk about that a lot on this show. The desire to be liked can lead to overcommitment and saying yes to too many responsibilities. This can result in burnout and a sense of being taken for granted. Type 2s often have difficulty with boundaries. They can struggle to set healthy boundaries, putting their own needs on the back burner in favor of helping others. And finally, seeking validation. The underlying need to be appreciated can sometimes drive type 2s to seek external validation, which can cloud their ability to make impartial decisions. For type 2s, growth involves learning to balance their genuine desire to help with self-care and personal boundaries. So here are some strategies for you or others um, who are type 2s to live and lead more authentically. Number one, prioritize self-care. Remember that caring for yourself is not selfish. It's necessary. 
When you're well-rested and fulfilled, you're better able to serve others without depleting your energy. Number two, practice saying no. It's okay to set limits on your time and your energy. Saying no when needed will help you avoid overwhelm and maintain your effectiveness. And finally, shift your motivation. Reflect on your motivations and practice serving from a place of abundance and love rather than from a need for external approval. Remind yourself that your worth is intrinsic and rooted in God's love, not in what you do for others. I'm going to repeat those three things again. Prioritize self-care, practice saying no, and shift your motivation away from needing external approval to determine your worth. Now, when we talk about leading as a type 2, Type 2 leaders excel when they leverage their relational strengths while setting clear boundaries. So here are some practical tips specific to leadership for Type 2s. Number one, empower your team. Trust your team to handle tasks without your constant oversight. This not only builds their confidence, but it also frees you to focus on higher level responsibilities. Number two, balance support with delegation. So while your instinct may be to take on tasks to help others, practice delegating and allowing your team to grow from their own experiences. Sometimes our need or desire to help can become almost controlling and it deprives others from that ability to be autonomous and grow themselves. Finally, check in with yourself. Regularly assess your energy levels and your emotional state. This practice helps you ensure that you are leading from a place of strength and not from depletion or exhaustion. For type 2s, understanding that their worth is already established by God's unconditional love is transformative. This perspective allows them or you to serve from a place of joy and freedom rather than obligation. By leaning into this truth, type twos can lead and love others without sacrificing themselves. So really, it's important that you fill yourself first with God's love. Certainly you will, and you will want to serve from a place of being filled with God's joy and God's grace and the hope that comes from the message that we see and hear in the gospel. But that comes from a place of being filled up instead of a place of needing to be filled up by the approval of others. Type 2s bring invaluable warmth, compassion, and dedication to any team. By learning to balance their helping nature with self-care and clear boundaries, they can thrive as leaders who inspire and uplift those around them. So if you are a type 2, hear all of these strengths and giftings that make you an invaluable leader and draw on those strengths and draw on your faith to truly be the best version of yourself that is functioning from a place of fulfillment rather than depletion. In upcoming episodes, we're going to continue to explore the unique traits of other Enneagram types and how they shape our living and our leading. Tomorrow, we're actually going to dive a little bit deeper into type twos and talk about the wings and the subtypes that influence how type twos show up in the world. So I want to thank you for joining me today. I pray that as you embrace your journey as a type two, you will find the balance and freedom that God has designed for you. Remember, your worth is already secure in him and you are loved beyond measure. As always, my friends, I pray that the Lord fills you with gratitude, peace, and His amazing grace. I pray this episode blessed you, spoke to you, or encouraged you in some way. If so, please share it with a friend and head on over to Apple Podcasts to leave me a review. That's the only way for me to know if you're enjoying the show. Nothing blesses me more than to hear from you. Also, come on over to our free Facebook community. This is a great place for us to support one another on our faith and leadership journeys. You can find the link to the group in the show notes or go to gracefilledleader.com forward slash community. 
If you have questions or content ideas for the show, please send me a message on SpeakPipe or via email. Go to gracefilledleader.com forward slash contact and leave a written or voice recorded message. I would love to know how I can best serve you on the podcast. Now to him who can do immeasurably more than we can ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. Ephesians 3 verse 20. Until next time, my friends, God bless.